something strange is happening in the skies, and maybe in our own bodies too. Right now, deep in the autumn of 2025, our sun is in the middle of a solar maximum, a peak in its 11-year activity cycle. Solar flares, sunspots, and geomagnetic storms are making headlines. But could these cosmic fireworks also be affecting our health down here on Earth? Every 11 years or so, the sun goes through cycles, from quiet lows to disruptive highs. Solar maximum is the most dangerous part of this roller coaster. During this time, the sun is peppered with dark sunspots, erupts with solar flares, and sometimes hurls giant clouds of charged particles, called CMEs, or coronal mass ejections, toward the Earth. These events can disrupt satellites. They can spark dazzling auroras, and even knock out power grids. But what about us? Here's where things get interesting. Lately, some of my friends have complained about restless nights and weird sleep cycles. Family members complain of stubborn headaches that last for days, and they're not alone. Reports all over the world suggest that during solar maximums, more people experience sleep, disturbances, headaches, and even mood swings. But is there any science behind it? Scientists know that solar storms can disrupt Earth's magnetic field. Some researchers point to indications that these geomagnetic changes might influence us too. This is especially obvious and logical when you consider that our brains and bodies have their own subtle electrical rhythms. A few studies have found links between increased solar activity and insomnia headaches, and even spikes in depression and anxiety. Other research suggests a possible effect on blood pressure or heart rhythms. But here's the catch. The evidence is still being debated, and not everyone agrees on how strong the connection really is. If you have been feeling a little off lately, maybe you're not sleeping well, or you have unexplained headaches. Just remember, you're not alone. It could be a coincidence, but it is likely that our bodies are more in tune with the cosmos than we realize. Either way, it's a good reminder to take care of ourselves. Four bullet points. Stick to a healthy sleep routine as much as possible. Stay hydrated and also stay fed to stave off uh, hunger headaches. Limit your screen time especially before bed. Be careful of too much solar exposure during this time. Uh, keep an eye on space weather reports. Identifying any potential causes of bodily aches and pains, that's half of the battle. The sun is 93 million miles away, but the storms can reach us in more ways than we think. Whether the solar maximum is truly messing with our health or just giving us something to talk about, one thing is for sure, we're all connected to the rhythms of this universe in ways that science is still discovering. So, the next time you're staring at the ceiling at 3 a.m., remember, maybe you're just riding out a solar storm. Speaking of storms, there it is, the old behavioral threshold monster pulling us down into the old behavioral sink. That's all, my friends, run go back to your doom scrolling traps. Uh, thank you for visiting. Feel free to stop by the comment section on your way out. If you found anything useful, you can take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. You can even ring the little bell for notifications. Until next time, I'm Katatu, and I'm saying so long from the channel, the end of the universe.